What's going on, everybody? My name is Blade. Welcome back to Fallout 4. Let me go ahead and pause that really quick. Um, I made, I think, three videos of Fallout. The first video was the first 30-minute walkthrough with commentary. The next two had no commentary. just wanted to show you where I was at at the game. And um, I have about, maybe, I think I'm about 13 hours into the game, continuing on with the campaign here. And I'm at the point where the last video I uploaded, uh, spoiler alert if you haven't seen it yet, but uh, I killed Kellogg, and Kellogg had something to do with my son. The whole point about this game is you want to find your son, because if you remember in the beginning, my wife gets shot, and they take my, like, one-year-old kid, not even one-year-old kid. So my whole point of this is trying to look for him, uh, even if it's, like, 200 years later, you know? And Kellogg knew something about him. He said he was in some institute, and he wouldn't tell me, so I had to kill him anyway. Uh, so now, what's weird is we found this, like, scientist woman, and we're going through his memories, going through his brain. It's really crazy. That's why it looks weird right now. But I've been going through his brain for about 10 minutes here, and I finally found this spot, and I wanted to show you guys. Look at this. If you remember the first 30 minutes, this is cool. Whenever you're ready. This is the one. Here. This is his memories. This is Kellogg, the guy I just killed. This is his memories. And that's... That's me. That's my wife and my baby. This was the beginning of the game. Are we okay? Almost. And that's me looking on. Come here. Come here, baby. No, no. I've got him. Let the boy go. I'm only going to tell you once. I'm not giving you Sean! <laughs> me trying to get out Reinitialized. what's the hold I wonder if I can I'm almost finished even then I knew it was a mistake leaving him alive I understood that kind of revenge no one better but I was cocky enough to assume I could handle some soft pre-war vault dweller even if he somehow got thawed out at least I know those Institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them, too. If he could take me out, they won't be able to hide from him for long. That was his memory. It was a mistake to leave me alive. He admitted it himself in his head. We're good. Crazy. So let's continue on here. I think this is the way to go. Pretty cr crazy part of the game here, but I just wanted to show you that memory. Once I walked out, I was like, oh my god, this is it. So, basically, again, the whole point is to go through his memory to see where my son is. Uh, and we just passed the memory where he took him, so. Is him? Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory. So <gasps> good news, I think. It's him. It wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid. Like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. Where the hell is he? I click on him. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. Kellogg. It's okay. One of these days you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. 
Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said that. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. God, that's my son. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. So. Oh. X six eighty eight, ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Now it all makes sense. The hell? Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. Okay. So, I don't know if it's confusing anybody watching, but basically, like I said, the first 30 minutes of the game, you know, a nuke drops, everyone's in the fallout. And, um, you can see the memory right there. Uh, my son gets taken, my wife gets shot, so my whole mission is to look for him. I found out a lot of clues. Uh, Diamond City is like one of the big parts of the map. I don't know if my pit boy will come up. No, it doesn't. But there's a, a big part of the map called Diamond City. It's a big city where I went and, you know, kind of settled down there, traded some things, and met some people. Uh, a lot of, a lot of uh, missions to go there. Um, it's okay. Let me pause this so nothing happens. Um, looks like the memory is just going again. But that's what happens. It's. Me went to Diamond City, met some people, did some campaign stuff, learning that Kellogg is one of the guys that saw my son last. So I tracked him down with my dog, and the video I posted was me meeting up with him uh, and killing him. You know, I had the little conversation. He, my, he said my son was in an institute, and he didn't tell me where. And now you just find out where. He, it looks like he got teleported by something. So now we got to find out where that teleportation goes. So pretty cool story. Uh, I just wanted to share that with you. So let's continue on. Um, one of the how do we pull me out? Minimizing my exposure to civilians. Oh, it's a memory. There you go. Okay, so we found out a lot. We found out my son got teleported somewhere. Okay, I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. No one's ever done this before. How do you feel? Um, side effects? Oh. Am I okay? Are you seeing anything bad? Don't be alarmed, but I honestly don't know what to look for. As I said before, this is uncharted territory, but your neural and physiological readings have returned to normal. From a medical standpoint, you're fine. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? Teleportation. We got what we needed. The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. Yes, their greatest secret has finally been revealed. But that only leads to more questions. How does it work? Where do we go next? Virgil? He was supposed to go kill Virgil. Let's see that scientist Kellogg was supposed to track down. Virgil, we need to find him. You're right. A rogue institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That doesn't make sense. No one goes there. Not even if they were desperate. Why? Why? What makes the glowing sea so dangerous? The name says it all. Radiation, yeah. Radiation. 
So much that nothing there could possibly live. Nothing pleasant. Navigating radioactive hazards is nothing new. But the glowing sea can kill a man in seconds. That's why it doesn't make sense. Virgil fleeing into that hell. The exposure alone. I'll find him. If we need to find Virgil, then I'm going after him. If you're going to go, be prepared. You'll need some way to combat the radiation there. It's called the glowing sea for a reason. I need some radex. Find a way. Anti-radiation? First of all, let me ask. How do I fight that much radiation, Doctor? There are chemical compounds. Radex, right radex, away, yep. Right away. You'd need as much as you could carry. Maybe more. A sealed environment suit would be great if you could find one. Or maybe one of those suits of power armor? That ah, I have one of those. I'll find a way to get through the rads. Don't worry. Good luck. And be safe. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Remove the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Sweet. All right. Do I have anything in here? Yes. Blood packs. What else is in here? There we go. I can steal this, right? Right away. Right away. Right away. Right X. Right X. Dirty water is fine. Stem packs. Nice. Okay. So, I guess I don't really talk about much. I did a lot since. Uh, oh, look at all this stuff. Um, that. So I'll take the scar box and then the dirty water. I don't need any of that. You learn to like not take much junk anymore because you need water though, because it just takes up space and inventory. Okay, so I can open this up now. Um, this is what I've done so far. I'm a, just turned level eleven. You can see that. Um, actually, I can level up one of my perks. These are all the perks you can uh, upgrade. It's pretty crazy. Um, hmm. Prisma. So you have to like unlock like the top ones to start unlocking these in the bottom here. Uh, gun nut seems really cool. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna do this one though because in my settlement, my like home base where I started the game, you can build your own town. And if I level this up one more time, I can make workshops in my town. So I don't have to travel somewhere and buy stuff or trade things. So, I will choose this. Requirements not met. Oh, level 6 charisma. Okay. Oh. I thought I was. Oh, oh cries level 14, level 6. Okay, I have to wait till level 14. Okay. Well, um, I'll do medic. I want stem packs to restore 60% of my lost health. God damn it! I gotta start reading. Level 18, okay. Uh, gun nut, level 13. Damn it. What can I upgrade? Um, agility is a measure of your overall fitness and reflexes. The fit Action points, fats, your abilities to sneak. Now you're getting into that. I don't think I need that that much. Endurance is fine. Affects your total health. It's the game one point. Strength. Actually... Punching attacks now do 40% more damage, and it can disarm your opponent. Ooh. Hmm, I'll try to do this. Yeah, I'll do this. Sweet. Okay, so uh, basically, this is my inventory. Uh, I got some guns and stuff. I got the Fat Man. Uh, you saw last video, it, it shoots like baby nukes. It's awesome. Um, these are the missions I'm on doing right now, so look at the next one. Investigate the... the all, all these are side missions right here. Like, continue to freedom trail, things like that. The glowing sea is the one you just heard about. That's probably the main mission one. Over here, here's the map. Uh, where that's pointing at right now is where I'm at. Uh, Diamond City was right here. So I traveled a little bit to get here. Um, where we started was here. This is where the game started. This is the vault where my wife got shot. And then this is my sanctuary. It's pretty much where I grew up, where my house was. Um, and then my power suits right there. And one of the early missions was to go to Diamond City. So you can see Diamond City is way down here. So it was a long walk. I actually walked the whole way, and the map's huge. And you can see I haven't even discovered any of these pots right here, except for this one. But I haven't discovered any of these right here, um, any, any of this stuff down here. And you can see on the way to Diamond City, I discovered all of these and did some side missions and picking up stuff there. What's cool is once you discover something, you can fast travel. So if say, say I want to go here, 
I can easily fast travel. Uh, so that's a really cool part of the game. Um, that's how far I'm how far I'm at right now. Looks like uh, looks like they gave me a lot of stuff. Um, hold on. Let's see. Okay. So you can see. Oh wait, my uh, apparel. Okay, my at. There you go. Blood pack's good. Stores your health. Um, dirty water is fine. The th problem is there's a lot of uh, radiation. You can see seven radiation, which is kind of high if you drink it. Uh, you don't want too much radiation. Uh, iguana on a stick, you know, things like that. Here's Medex. Um, what I need is Nuka-Cola. These are all awesome. Uh, perfect water is fine. This is awesome. This um, prevents you from getting radiation. And it only lasts, I'm not sure how long it lasts. Uh, I forgot how long, maybe like five minutes or so. But it prevents you from getting hurt from radiation. This takes radiation away. So really cool. Um, and then some other things. So you can see everything you eat. Look, Salisbury steak, it's nine radiation. And if you can see my health right now in the bottom right corner, bottom left corner, sorry. I have a tiny bit of red there. That's the radiation. And if you keep going on with the game, healing yourself, eating this, you know, iguana on a stick and stuff like that, dirty water, it will start getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And that means there's less spot for your health. So if half of your health bar is radiation, that means you only have half health left. So every once in a while, you got to take the radex and make the radiation disappear. So um, I just feel like explaining to you. I'm pretty sure it's anyone watching this. Um, you already knows, and they're just, I'm just blabbering on. But anyone who doesn't know and is stumbling upon this video, um, that's the game. It's pretty awesome. The map's huge, and she's resting. <laughs> uh, but looks like I have to go and find my son. So let me quick save it here. Uh, but that's all I wanted to show you guys. If something cool happens on the way and finding my son, I will show you. Uh, like I said, you know, in the first video, I'm not going to post everything. This game is huge, and I've had it for about a week, and I only have 12 hours in it. Uh, it seems like a lot, but you can put hundreds of hours in this game. So I'm playing a lot of games right now, and I'm busy at work, things like that. So it would just be too hard to keep up with videos, posting it, and keeping up with the story. Because, again, it's just way too long. Um, I'll take that. Um, so that's it, guys. Just wanted to show you a big key part of the story here. We found out where my son is. He's teleported somewhere. So thank you guys again for watching. And I'll definitely be posting more of this game, you know, as soon as I run to something cool. Uh, might not be commentary. I just want to talk to you guys here, but again, I'm rambling on. Thank you guys again, and I'll talk to you guys later.